Hey there, YouTube. Welcome back. Heplinger here with some more Civ Beyond Earth. And uh, from our last episode, we are gearing up to attack Elodie. We want to, well, I don't know about you, but I want to uh, pick on somebody. I'm bored, and I'm losing, and she's annoying, and let's see... What other excuses can I come up with? <laughs> Frankly, I think I just, I, I need a little more generation of science and um, I think that she's probably got the most likely uh, places to offer that considering that she's also a harmony um, and also she's just kind of in my way. so getting at least that city, Aintza, will kind of give a little bit more of a connection to my my circle of cities here, and uh, yeah, I just, I want to do it, so I'm going to do it. Okay, that's a good location, because that gives me a little bit more picture of what's going on around. And what we got, Live Long has grown. Fantastic. All right, so now we're working the tile I really wanted to work. So, a little extra energy and production. Production's good because that will get us through things a little faster. Just a couple more turns to that clinic. Okay. Harmony is still surrounded. All right get rid of things so they stop getting in our way and ruining our production and go all right so let's see what we got here Xeno Calvary so once that Xeno Calvary comes in I think is when we are going to initiate this attack um, do, do, do. looking at my units oh that's right I siphoned some energy we will create another unit for attack. Oh, I took some of the focus off of her. Okay, trade vessel. Let's get this going again. All right, we send it to harmony. Four production, two food. Send it to love. Three production, five food, fire, and one production. Send it to Central Outpost for some growth. Um, we will take that risk. Then kind of going across that body of water is, is risky because those aliens love to kill my things. But yeah, this game's been nothing but stupid risks. Why stop now, right? Why stop now? So what would happen if I set up for a ranged attack and try to attack that unit? Will that count as an attack on her? All right, I'm just going to sit there and I'm going to heal for a little bit. I am going to go over here. I'm going to purchase a Xeno Calvary. We're just going to get that done. It uses up all my Xeno mass. So next turn we will get that in position. And we are just going to move in. Well, do I have really much? I don't have a whole lot of ranged units, do I? Okay. Go away. Oh, she pissed me off. Covert operation detected. In peace. So detected, but no one was killed, and it doesn't tell me who was doing it. Okay. So this worker is gonna 
head down here to Central, which I will be renaming to I don't know what yet. Uh, Xeno Calvary. Let's just head up this way. All right, production. I think Saito Nursery it looks like a good choice. Or Trade Depot. Yeah, let's get a Trade Depot because trade just is powerful. Okay, so we got a brawler, got a swarm. Alright, we're just gonna see this turn how we'll get in position and then we'll see how this rolls. Okay, so what is this? A swarm? Okay. just have to destroy that alien because it's not cooperating with me. Alright, so this brawler, um, I'm gonna come down here to protect our weak side, if you will. Okay, I'm gonna move up there. You just gonna attack this flippin' alien. And we're done with it. Okay. Sinosure. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, so. We do three more here, get a virtue and an agent. One more here gets me pro extra production and energy in the capital. Oh, let's see. Energy from every basic resource. It's nice being able to buy things. I'm not doing much in the way of wonders. 3% speed towards outparts growth. I'm not growing that much. I don't think I even have this one. 50 XP from combat. And let's go ahead and get all that production stuff and let's get ourselves a little XP from combat because we're about to start combating. So. Alright. See, I think everybody is where I want them. So next turn... We let her roll. Down here at Central, it's just going. Okay, well, if you're inviting us. And yes, I know that gives her the first attack, but I'm not really... Sometimes I, in my mind, I'm role-playing a little bit, and it's kind of fun. So yeah, maybe I should have just said, No, I don't know what you're talking about, and then attacked her. I did not realize how much of a first attack she would get. But that's okay. All right, worker is done there. I don't think there's anything else that worker can do. So let's head up this way. And you go here. You go here. Okay, let's see what we got. Veteran C established itself. We are going to do that. 
I'm going to fortify because I don't want to lose that cavalry. So I've declared war. Let's see what productions we can pull, push in here. Um, don't have enough xenomass to do any of those. So 28 for that. 26 and range. 30 and range. 8 strength. 12 strength. It's not quite as strong, but it'll stand up to more. And it'll be ready faster. Okay. Uh, who else has production? Prosper. Let's just, let's see, four culture and a free Zeno sanctuary, which I think this already has one. Uh, let's just work on that mind stem. Okay. So let's get over here and see. Um, let's see with these needle jets. How far can I strike? Aha, look at that. Okay. Just about did him in. Okay, Brawler can't, or Xeno Swarm can't do anything because we're so stuck in there. I should have attacked this first. Should have done that the other way. I should have attacked there and then hit it with range so that I wouldn't be within ending my turn in range of the city. Oh well. And you attack. So if they attack here, cavalry will heal, but if they attack the cavalry, it'll probably kill them. Okay. I don't think that was too bad. A couple, a couple minor mistakes, but uh, I think that was a good, good first battle. It's a little hard on my swarm there. Oh, he's done in. Darn it. Just keep heading up this way. Okay, Triton. Attack. Where'd that other unit go? Must have gone back in. That's fine. Attack here. Another cavalry coming up. There, those cavalry is probably going to take the brunt of the beating. Oh man, I can't quite reach. Alright. Man, I wish this had enough range to hit the city without getting within range of the city. Uh, let's heal for a turn. 
you. Is there anything to attack yet? No. Okay. Okay, can you hit the city from there? Yes, you can. Good start. And you will just... Nothing to beat up on there. Move in so I can start tearing up her uh, whatever much we call it. Let's see. But I still can't. Oh, I can reach love. Rebase there. Don't know that I can actually reach anything from there, but and you rebase to here. And what I wonder what it cost me. to buy centaur costs 900 because the centaur is the one that can attack um that's the one that can attack satellites, so I thought that would be kind of cool to have. That's okay. Yeah, no, unit killed. Okay, so we can build something else that could help us. But not very quickly. Alright, I'm getting another swarm in eight turns. Hopefully we'll have the city taken care of by then, but we'll see. Brawler. Let's just go down and make sure we're clear of any aliens, and next turn. Yeah, I know. Suck that I finish my turn like that. <laughs> there was a small part of me that kind of was happy to stay there for that reason. I don't even know that I took damage from that. Hmm. Maybe I just need to venture out and take her an exito just for the heck of it. Alright, I really want to... Uh, I'm going to move here and wait for that darn alien to move. Oh, look at them. It's like they're, they're waiting for me to jump in the water. They're like little sharks. Okay, worker, let's uh let's get a plantation going. Alright, needle jet. How far can you reach? Can you reach there? Perfect. Okay. Let's move the cavalry up. Move this cavalry back. Heal and attack. Let's start by looking at this unit. I'm going to use my heal. Oh, I think. 
pillage actually heals. Earn energy and heal slightly. So fully healed. Got a little energy. Pillaged a unit. And I can still I can still attack. How about that? Let's do it. Okay, and be a costly attack to move in like that. Okay, we're gonna stay just like that. And he can't quite reach. And if I move there, I probably can't quite reach, so stay on alert. Uh, this jet. Is there anything for me to attack? No. So, air sweep. So, I can just kind of do a sweep, maybe? Is that how that works? How, how does this work? And just heal. <laughs> I can never get. Uh, I can never get the uh, directions for, or the. I can't get things to work for. Air forces. Uh, let's move up one. Probably gonna take the brunt of attacks. I should have waited until. I, well, okay. We got. We got that unit nearby. So maybe they'll attack that the brawler instead of my centaur. Yes, they did. Okay. That's kind of why I bring something like a brawler in there to be a a tank. So I'm going to have to bring the Xenoswarm in to be the next tank. Let's see. Be a risk to do that. I'm going to just not do anything with him that turn. I'm going to just go in as our tank and also destroy that unit. Well, okay. Didn't quite manage to destroy that unit. Alright. Let's get our little bonus and attack that city. What kind of damage can we do to that city? Mm, not a whole lot. That's quite a... Alright, we're going to switch over here. We'll set up an attack from here first. Can't go anywhere. So, protect. Worker. Not a whole lot for you to do until things, because I can't get on these here, so. Do nothing, because you can't do much of anything. I don't think there's anybody for this needle jet to attack. So it's gonna stay in air air intercept mode. So it looks like we might be bringing the cavalry in next turn. So oh, we can get up there in one turn. So. We'll stand alert for one more turn. And who's this? Uh, let's do that. And. Alright. This might make the episode a little long, and I apologize, but I really want to get this battle done, so. He didn't like us too well. But, you know what? Doesn't really matter, because, well, 
It doesn't matter. <laughs> Boy, they took out that swarm quick. I'll have to see if I have any other units I can make. Ah, man, why won't this thing move? What do I have over here? Xeno swarm? Nope, they can't attack it. Guess I could send that Triton down. Ah, man, I wish there was some way to. Well? Do a lot of damage to them, but once every you know two or three turns, every, a little bit of damage doesn't hurt. Or, well, it does hurt. If I can do enough to this, yeah, you can just go to sleep for a little bit. Okay. All right, let's see if it's enough. Yes, I want to attack anyway. Yes, it was enough to take the city. Let's see, increase unhealth by 13 or increase health unhealth by zero. Okay, no, I did 13 to it as well. That's okay. I wanted to annex it. So, uh, let's go ahead and just finish our things for this turn, and we'll call it an episode. So we took Aitza, which is now going to be called, uh, hmm. Yeah. What's the word I'm look, thinking of want, wanting? Elodies. Can't uh, do apostrophes. Um, sorrow. <laughs> All my peace, love, and harmony cities, and this one's Elodie Sorrow. Which is fine. It's perfect. Alright, so. I don't know if it's even worth it to, to check these yet, because I don't even know if I have use of any of this stuff at this time. I think you immediately... So, I've captured Ainsa. And lost the Xeno Swarm. Choose a production. Okay, so maybe I do get immediate... Well, no. Question mark turns, so... It'll take forever before it actually is useful to me. So anyway, that's that. We took Ainsa, now Elodie's Sorrow, and um, she hates us. I don't care. Maybe next is Grand Exito or Prosperite. Maybe I should just completely just annihilate her. I don't know. Took me a lot of units, so it took me a few turns to get uh, get built up to that again so we'll see i think that's enough for now though so uh youtube have fun